In this video, you will learn how to insert checkboxes in Microsoft Word. Currently, you can see here I have inserted a table and I have inserted different checkboxes in this table. Currently, you can see here this checkbox contains tick marks, this one contains the cross marks, this check marks has red color. Similarly, I have left this checkbox unchecked and I have filled this checkbox with solid fill. So if I click on this checkbox, now you can see here the tick mark sign disappeared. If I again click on it, then tick mark sign appeared here. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to insert variety of check marks using the developer tab. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. I have already inserted a table on second page. So I will scroll down and here is the table where we want to insert check boxes. Firstly, click the location where you want to insert checkbox. I want to insert checkbox here. So I will click here. Then you can see here on our ribbon, developer type did not appear. So firstly, we will insert developer tab. To insert developer tab, go to file. And if you move down, you will find the option of more at the bottom. Click on this. And here you will find the option of options. Select this one and you will find the option of customize ribbon in this window. Select this one. Then this window will be appeared. Additionally, there is a shortcut to show this window. Simply place your cursor on your ribbon. Right click and here you will find the option of customize the ribbon. Click on it. Then the same window will be appeared. Now you can see here we have two tabs. First one is the popular commands and second one is the main tabs. In main tabs, I want to select developer tab. I will scroll down and here you will find the option of developer tab, which is currently unchecked. I will select this one. After selecting, simply click on OK. And if I again go to the file, you can see here developer tab appeared here. Firstly, Select the location where you want to insert the check boxes. Go to developer tab and in developer tab under control option, you will find the option of check box. Click on it. Now you can see here a check box inserted here. I will select this check box. Go to home tab. And from here, you can adjust the size of checkbox. For example, I will select 24. Similarly, you can also change the color using this option. For example, I will select red color for this checkbox. Now, if I click here, you can see here a cross sign appeared here. And if I again click on it, you can see here that the cross sign disappeared. Similarly, you can insert a variety of symbol in these check marks. For example, you can insert a tick marks or you can insert a cross marks or you can fill it with a solid color. Firstly, I will select this one, right click, copy it and you can paste it on another location. You can see here, I will paste it here. Again, I will paste it here. Again, I will paste it here. You can easily copy and paste it according to your requirement. Now click here and you will find the option of three dot. Click on it. Go to developer tab. And when you select these three dots, you will find the option of properties under developer tab. Click on properties. I will place it here for your convenience. From here, you can see here there is an option of checked symbol. And here is the option of change. Click this one. If I scroll down, I will find the option of these tick marks. I will select this one. Click on OK. Again on OK. If I select this checkbox, then 
tick mark sign appeared here because we have changed this one. If I again click on it, then tick mark sign will disappear. Similarly, if I click on this checkbox, then you will find three dots. Click on it and go to properties. From here, select checked symbols and go to change option. And if you want to insert only tick mark without checkbox, you can also do that. Select this one. Click on OK. Again on OK. Then you can see here that only tick mark sign appeared here. If I again click on it, then this box appeared. And if I click again, then only tick marks appeared here. Similarly, you can fill it with a solid color. I will click on this checkbox and I will click on these three dots. Go to properties. And from properties, I will select checkbox and go to change. From here, you can select solid fill. Click on OK. Again on OK. And now you can see here that our checkbox will be filled if I click on again. Now you can see here it is filled with solid color. And you can change the color from home tab. For example, if I change it to black color you can also do that so by doing so you can easily insert check boxes and format it according to your requirement secondly if you want to remove this one select this one and press shift and delete key that check marks will be deleted now you will learn how to remove these bonding box for example if i place my cursor here click on it then you can see here a bonding box appear around these check boxes. I want to remove this bonding box. To remove the bonding box, simply click on any check box. I will click here. After that, go to properties option. And in properties option, you will find the option of show has. From here, I will select none. You will find three options. First one is the bonding box. Second one is the start and tag. And third one is the none. From here, I will select none option. After that, I will simply click on OK to remove this bonding box. Click on OK. Now you can see here the bonding box is removed. Now if I click here, you can see here the bounding box appear around this checkbox and if I click on this, you can see here there is no bounding box around this checkbox. So by doing so, you can easily insert, format and delete checkbox in Microsoft Word. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.